Hi guys, this is Emil and we are back playing Communist Yugoslavia. Between the episodes I've actually run a series of tests, a few playthroughs uh, on fast forward to check if I actually messed up with the justifications and uh, well, answer is no. Uh, there's no actual way to get two justifications before guarantees kick in. So. Uh, since we cannot really fight, uh, well, I guess you could try to just get, just go for Romania or just go for uh, for Greece. Uh, so that that is an option rather than go for Bulgaria because well, uh, but then you would have to uh, start the war before basically outright and somehow uh, manage to. Uh, conquer uh, both Roma uh, conquer Romania while defending against uh, Greece or the other way, way around, which uh, with the army we have would be probably difficult, but uh, I guess I could have considered that option. But beyond that, there is no actual way to uh, do it any faster because uh, of how long it takes uh, for you to, to become communists and actually start justifying. I mean, uh, perhaps the and the other thing I might have done differently is uh, to actually go for partial mobilization. Uh, uh, I mean, just wait for war economy rather than go for partial mobilization. But that's, once again, a few months. I mean, that's uh, four months, almost five months difference. And uh, this way, uh, our uh, logistics screen is looking much nicer. So. Not a terrible idea. It's a thing that I would actually call a, a mistake is not going for local militias earlier. I should have went for local militias after taking this bit, I think. Because now I'm not uh, training any uh, any units really, which is uh, which is problematic. But uh, so. Yeah, I should have prepared for the, for this actual play for a bit later, a bit earlier, but uh, yeah. My bad. Uh, well, continue. So this should uh, go fairly smoothly. And this spawning attack here... Mm. And so we are not actually attacking with those three, so let's uh, move those along actually. Let's try to, uh, to push through. Uh, we'll leave that guy on the defensive and... Uh, you're moving this way. Yeah, that works. So, this is still attacking into the mountains, but uh, I mean, those are in a particularly powerful unit as it is. So, we should be able to, to do it. How is our air force doing? Hmm, let's check. Our fighters lost, mostly in battles. Enemy fighters lost. Uh, less, but still. Uh, the important thing is that we actually do have air superiority. Well, maybe just 10% of it, but it adds up. Alright. Pushing through here, we could use an attack on this fairly shortly. So let's try to. I move this to stop them from actually reacting here while we are moving uh, our units. Um, okay, I actually want this unit uh, going this way. Bloody hell. Remove the fog of war. There we go. Mm, that should be good ish. This attack should stop uh, shortly. And we don't really care about this, just uh, so we are not uh, going to attack them, just uh, keep them. Uh, keep an eye on them. Uh, let's, we can move this along. Right here, I don't think they will be uh, rushing Belgrade anytime soon. Uh, so, yeah, we, we need this guy. Uh, you are going to be here in 8 hours, and you in 1 day. So, we want to, to keep them busy, of course. While we are pushing forward, and... Uh, oh. Well, I'm actually going to push forward with that as well. Uh, you guys just rush for Varna. Oh, damn it. Uh, rush for Varna this way. See how that goes. 
Okay, pushing through that, which is nice. Uh, managed to uh, run into that, but one of those units is still attacking, but it shouldn't last long, especially as soon as the infantry arrives, so that shouldn't be an issue. Mm, okay, so there's one more division sitting there. Hopefully, they won't be attacking in this direction. Oh, well, of course, they bloody are, and they. Mm. Okay, so we're somehow winning against this. Uh, well, not really. We are losing, but perhaps we'll uh, sneak into Varna this way. And if not, I think um, we can push those two units, just strategically redeploy them in this way, and we should be alright. Because there, there may be uh, an additional uh, division in the Varna itself, so. Better keep an eye on that as well. Mm. Okay. Uh, one more of our divisions should probably uh, attack here to make sure that this uh, doesn't end too early. And yeah. So, using cavalry. <laughs> yeah, but in those, uh, I mean, technically, cavalry division is as good as infantry division but faster, so. Early, early game, they, they are good. Only problem is that they are usually, well, pretty weak, uh, uh, you know, underdeveloped in this term. Uh, so, you may actually try using uh, proper cavalry divisions instead of uh, instead of infantry in some uh, in some playthroughs. Mm, well, I'll see, but uh, it's. It may make sense for the nations that cannot really afford uh, tanks, but uh, actually need a bit faster troops early on. Okay, oh, right, and we can walk into that, uh, finish research. Mm. Okay, so definitely need uh, to push into that, but sadly they are uh, escaping into uh, Plovdiv, uh, which I'm not too thrilled about. It's try since we will end up attacking over the river. Mm, don't want to leave them entirely unattended, so let's not... Uh, is one more division there. Maybe I sh could have used a little bit more. Um, perhaps use one of those divisions here to, to, to capture spare land, but yeah. It's going well. So this is basically we want to just go there. Um, I think those divisions should be. Uh, almost there in terms of you know, actual attack, attack moving. And this attack was being performed, so as soon as this finishes, uh, they, they should uh, simply arrive here, and that perhaps is going to be the end. Yes, it is. Alright, so no, no, no need to capture Vala. Uh, let's uh, cancel all the actions. So we, are, so we aren't wasting, cancel all the actions. Jesus. Cancel all the actions. Thank you. So we aren't wasting uh, manpower and stuff. And there we go. Take all states and turn down. Okay. Captured uh, some equipment. Now for our next war, this, unless they um, will end up with yet another um, guarantee, we will be at war with both uh, um, Turkey and uh, Romania. Romania should be uh, fairly easy to beat because uh, oh, actually, shouldn't they have like fifty-five? Mm. Perhaps that comes later. Sure, actually, I'm pretty sure that you just need to get Bucharest and uh, perhaps this 
this place and they fall. I'm like 80% sure that's how the math works in here. This is what? Uh, 20, that's 25, and the rest is 1. 1, uh, well, there's a, there's a 5, but yeah, and this is 1. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we just need to uh, break through this river and capturing those two, which uh, will be doable. What's more difficult is, of course, uh, getting uh, defeating Turkey right here. The problem uh, being that you need to grab Istanbul, you need to grab Ankara, and, uh, well, more than a handful of places around here. But basically, Izmir, uh, Izmir here, and uh, Bursa on our, uh, on our way through. So, but uh, the problem is going to be breaking through the, uh, through the Bosphorus. If, uh, because if, uh, for example, Germany decides, or anyone else decides to send uh, actual volunteers and they land uh, right here, we simply won't be able to push our way through, uh, through Bosphorus. And we'll have to call in uh, the Soviets, which is annoying. So, uh, We'll end uh, since our uh, our the number of our forces is quite limited. We'll need to um, actually what what we are going to do is uh, this uh, dismantle those shitty divisions that we uh, will not have much use of, as well as those two. Cavalry divisions, I will still leave like a, what, a single or two cavalry divisions. And perhaps I will also remove this because this is a joke division. So, And we'll just uh, get a few more infa proper infantry ones. On the, well, proper, reasonably good infantry divisions uh, in the field. And uh, to rush, rush Bucharest and Istanbul and Bosphorus. Okay, um, let's place you all along this border for the time being. Get, uh, that will get you a little bit of uh, organization. Here and here. There we go. And we can go back to fast forwarding this. Trunka has capitulated. Okay. Hmm. This is weird. I mean, there are some Soviet troops here, but uh, it's not going very well for Japan around here. Okay, well, we'll check back with them later. Well, that's not our problem, not our monkeys, uh, how we call it, say it. Not our circus, not our, man not our monkeys, so don't carry the way. Uh, now, um, I think we'll continue with this. A little bit of defense. Uh, elastic defense is also a decent one, but... Um, Well, we, want, we have to be on the offensive and will not benefit too much from uh, continuing superior firepower quite yet. So, perhaps something a bit... Uh, well, I think we'll get recon companies going, actually. Mm, we have a little bit of uh, army experience, so we could probably squeeze them in if we end up uh, uh, with enough. So it's much, huh? Yeah, so, well, so let's do that. There's those. No, we will have... Um, okay, change of change of plans, actually. Uh, we'll have enough to, to, to do that, so let's just continue those doctrines for the uh, future reference. Okay, so how many divisions will we need to uh, have to actually put 
push through it properly. Let's say at least 12 divisions around here. Uh, so, yeah, that leaves uh, <laughs> 7 for Romania. Uh, right, alright, so definitely work on militias since we do not have political power to uh, to increase our uh, our conscription loss improve our conscription loss so oh for fuck's sake they, they've been guaranteed all over in my bloody test it has not actually happened so i so all everyone around us is fucking guaranteed that's not good. That's not good at all. <sighs> what we could do, I guess. Mm. Let's go for Hungary here. Well, that is pretty bloody early World War II for us, if we go for it. Also, I mean, we haven't really expanded yet, not really, so... Uh. Yeah, well, I guess we'll have to go for it, but... Um. Uh, let's see, and this Hydroslavia thing going on. Um. We just need to control all the states, so... Mm, yeah, that's doable. So we'll try to to get Hungary, but uh, then we will still go to war uh, for Romania and uh, for Greece, trying to conquer them uh, without the help of uh, of Soviet Union. Problem is that then we'll have to police them, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, but well, no other no other option really, and well, I guess so when I ended up getting this war without a guarantee, I was uh, a bit lucky. Although um, I might, I perhaps should have waited for. Uh, Germany to actually go after Czechoslovakia because I think uh, both United Kingdom and France guarantee Czechoslovakia after the Munich conference and uh, that may uh, well prevent them uh, from sending another guarantees all over the bloody place. So another thing you could do that, but I am um, well against it because it's it's well, very exploitative. Is uh, simply start. Uh, Justifying against nations you are, are actually aren't planning on on attacking uh, for them to you know uh, start throwing guarantees all over the place and only then go for the for ones you're interested in. So I could, for example, start guaranteeing against Iraq uh, first and only then go for my neighbors. But uh, that, that's that's just silly. So said it against that. Hmm. I guess I will finish this one, so, rather than cancel it and go to war against that. Alright. Oh, and here we are going to... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this company here. Yeah. May 38. Hmm. Perhaps it's actually time to uh, start researching some uh, uh, some Air Force. Hmm. Or, or Air Doctrines at least. Or oh, simply. Uh, some motorized. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, we do have, uh, what is it? 75% research bonus for motorized, but, uh, well, 
<laughs> it's nothing, it's a bit late, isn't it? Uh, we we kind of want to do one, two more and only then go for that. Perhaps uh, get some of the resources around, so... Uh, yeah, I think we'll just get, grab motorized. Mm. As for Air Force, I think we'll just go for uh, for this first and uh, mm, I will get to the whole res uh, we'll get to the to, to researching that uh, later on. Mm, or to researching uh, actual uh, air, uh, actual airplanes later on when we'll uh, get to the uh, bonuses from here. I think this is the way to go, um, and at least get some, uh, you know, aircraft designer. Another thing we uh, we can go for is perhaps um, well, we do actually have anti-tanks, so we could get anti-air. Actually, had decent su success with anti-air, and we will end up, uh, I'm afraid, uh, fighting against nations that uh, will be. May have a superiority here and there, so it's a terrible option. But well, for now we are still slowly but surely building our industrial base, so let's not get carried away. Okay, so local militias finished. Um, yeah, let's continue uh, towards this first. Although we could get those two civilian factories first. Um, yeah, let, let's get those actually. Now, um, how are we looking? Um, yeah, we, we definitely need to improve on support equipment. Let's say like this. And buying uh, another bit of steel. And there we go. Okay. This finishes in 50 days, but well, we won't be able to use it anyway, so who cares? Recon companies. Mm. Ah, uh, how are we on artillery? Hmm, oh, well, that's looking decent, so, okay. How things would look if we were to uh, actually improve our divisions a little bit? Hmm, I think we'll start with recon, anti-tank can come later. Uh, right, yeah, so we'll need 2000 artillery for that, and we don't have enough in terms of, uh, uh, you know, support equipment just yet, so... Mm. <laughs> we could do it this for uh, new divisions here. Mm. Right, we'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, so Yugoslavian economic aid sadly finished. Uh, we uh, that cost us, I believe, two, well, actually, f uh, three factories. Okay, computing machine at least. Oh, looking, de uh, looking decent so far. Yeah, I think we should try to keep uh, uh, keep up with uh, you know um, decryption encryption since we do uh, do now have five uh, five slots, so that should be fairly uh, quite possible.
Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, well that requires only uh, only steel to produce. We, well, it's not like we do have steel, but it's a bit better than uh, dealing with uh, improved artillery here. What we could, however, do is uh, license some productions uh, for uh, just a little bit. So yes, that is possible. Uh, what we could do is, uh, well, we are not going to, uh, to build those, but that actually uh, imp gives us 20% research bonus, so we could have probably have done that for motorized. Mm. Not quite building them. Yeah, mm. for the next uh, kind of equipment like that, we will license a little bit from them. Uh, as for now... Mm -hmm. Now we'll have uh, we'll go for encryption. Our oh, uh, industries mm, uh, so far focused on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can either go for a little bit of tungsten and then oil. Or for some steel. Or outright bonuses here. Yeah, let's, let's just go with outright bonuses for now. Mm. How long does it last? Two years? Oh, actually. Oh, bloody hell, I forgot. Those. Ah! Okay, this is bad. Uh, well, mistake after mistake. And so, uh, I forget that those uh, manually created last only a few months. Uh, rather than uh, mm -hmm. we cannot uh, so be, oh, only the ones that you get from focus is uh, last uh, two years I mean, uh well we have if uh, once that goes away I think we'll get a um, national unity hit and potentially even a political power hit I should have probably cancelled it now. Uh, let's try to get this, I guess, although then they could potentially go join by the axis, so. Uh, there is a likelihood of a fuck up uh, here as well. This isn't going well, is it? I actually played this scenario on a stream already and it actually <laughs> went much smoother. Uh, Treaty of Munich. So now they should have, yes, they both have guarantees. Um, yeah, but uh, it's not like they're going to drop any of the ones that they've already given. Right. Nation flying. Okay, we'll wait for 30 days. Mm. Yeah. You know what? I think it's actually time to to, up, to update those uh, those divisions after all. So let's get artillery and let's get that uh, recon company for now. Uh, well, we could just upgrade one, maybe. Hmm. Mm. Let's upgrade them one by one. Let's say there we go. We'll need to do some uh, training as well. Apparently, you are already fully trained, aren't you? Mm. Okay, let's send you here with the same job. We'll be just uh, putting the ones that are already uh, have already finished upgrading right here, so we are not wasting uh, wasting any equipment. This is going to be awkward because we will. 
Uh, have to end up at war with Romania fairly early, uh, which will in turn land us at war with the Allies. Uh, but I think we'll just wait for the Germans to to to, to go after them first. All right. Um, Tauber, yeah, let's continue here. Right, so we lost a little bit. Criticize for a weak uh, foreign policy. Uh, um, this actually is supposed to uh, go here, and you are actually supposed to drain that. And uh, yeah, we are actually missing out on this rather than on um, on artillery. That's, that's to be expected. Uh, let's get a bit more steel. There we go. Um, well, I could wait a little bit longer, actually. Well, that's right. Uh, for uh, for Hungary to receive southern Slovakia, that would actually make a little bit of sense. Or actually, th are they getting that at the first Vienna Awards, or when uh, there is a? Yeah, we'll check in a sec. I never remember. Is it at Fate of Czechoslovakia or at the Vienna Award? Yes, now, okay, so if we go to war against them and they don't join Axis, then uh, we should get that as well, which is nice. Mm, now, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, take two more factories. And we'll continue investing in this. And um, I do think we have some uh, motor. Okay, so we already have a thousand motorized. Uh, because we inherited some from Bulgaria. Mm. Because we, uh, what we want is go for uh, hospitals uh, for our units. So we will need a little bit of motorized for that, even if we aren't uh, actually using tank divisions or motorized divisions. This December, uh, mm -hmm -hmm. now let's, let's just go for it. Alright, and as the last one before 1939. Hmm. Let's actually take a look. You guys have the better guns already. Uh, infantry equipment one. You do not. Oh, that's just sad. Well, I guess it's. Uh, well, it's not 39 yet, so. That, I guess it makes sense, but hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Right, let's just uh, we go for that. We don't wait. Mobile defense. How long will it, until we finish? Ninety days. Okay. All right. So mm, mostly done.
problem is that we do not uh, have any uh, offensive uh, mm, what is it? field marshals uh, with uh, offensive tactics, which is we kind of need to stick to 20 division, 20 uh, with divisions. It's a bit annoying. Mm. Right, so can either go straight for that. I think we kind of have to. And as for field hospitals, uh, we'll put a pin in that and go for um, construction. We are going to put a pin in that and go for machine tools. As for this one, uh, we will go for hmm, hmm, guns actually rather than artillery. So, let's go guns. Sponsor of Arsenal. Mm. More steel. Once again, let's grab more steel. Oh, we're out of time though, so we'll continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you then.